What's going on boys and girls, it's Muntage Gaming here again and welcome back to my channel. Today we're over here on Six Shadows server and we're trying to tame up an anglerfish. As you can see my stamina is about to run out, so this should be pretty interesting. Now I haven't been able to play much Ark over the past week, I've been able to get on like maybe 30 minutes or an hour every day. So this is just some clips saved up over the past couple of days that I haven't uploaded. And uh, anyway, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into the episode. Oh, finally got our anglerfish knocked out. I think I ran out of stamina like fucking three times. That is so aid swimming to the top with no fucking stamina. Do not recommend. Anyway, this is going to be tamed up in about 12 minutes. Fuck yeah, anglerfish is tamed up. Let's get this back to base. I need to craft up some more scuba, because uh, mine's about to break. And... Uh, yeah, now we can fucking farm some pearls at last. And uh, the only issue... What the fuck is this fog? Holy shit. Anyway, hopefully I can find my way back home. Uh, the only issue we're going to have now is paste. Uh, but hopefully... Hopefully I can go take the uh, frog out for a run. Probably down the swamp or something. Not get it killed. That would be ideal. And uh, get some paste. Anyway, see you guys soon. Alright, back at base, got about 3k pace from that run, so I'm going to start crafting up the base materials. Uh, I'll need some more crystal because we're kind of low on that and I want to make the base out of glass, so we'll be farming some more crystal. I need to start farming some more metal as well, but unfortunately um, I'm the only one online, so I'm going to be farming it by hand, which is going to be really fucking aids. But anyway, got to do what we got to do, so we'll be farming up some crystal, some metal, and uh yeah let's get this base fucking popping and we're back uh, we've finally got enough shit for our base just crafting up some hatch frames now once these hatch frames are done we'll head up to the top of the iceberg and uh put down this base hopefully we can fit it in we might even have to make it a four by four i'm not too sure it doesn't need to be that big anyway it's just going to be our main point of i don't know storing our shit and crafting and stuff because down here is mostly going to be dinos Okay, so decided to go for a 4x4 four four, uh, just because we would have had to stack the foundations over here and I don't have the resources for that and I don't have the patience to go fucking hand mine some more metal to do that. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with this size. So I'll put up the rest. I've got the generator down underneath the foundation so that should be fucking nice and uh, we'll get the rest of this up and make it all look sexy. So turrets are online now. Uh, I do need a lot more bullets so for the rest of the turrets that I'm going to be putting down. Now over here, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. If I'm going to have all the crafting stuff outside or if I'm going to put it inside because we can just pull stuff now. So we probably will end up doing that and then eventually we'll put down another uh, Indie Forge here if someone else <laughs> decides to log on and uh, give us a hand. But uh, for now I'm going to go over and craft up some more spark powder so we can get some more bullets and then we'll finish off the rest of the base. Okay, so time to start moving the tent base up here. Um, I've got some of the shit here in the RG. Fucking hell, so much random shit in here. Anyway, okay, got everything down. Just going to chuck this sneaky little fridge in here. I think this is all square, is it? That should be fine. Alright, cool. Chuck this shit in there. Now we can get back to making more gunpowder. Lots more gunpowder. So here we are, the new base, looking fucking good. Uh, I'll probably chuck some more fridges up here. Maybe chuck down a ceiling, um, like here or something. Just like that, and then I'll chuck more fridges up there. Uh, but for now, we'll just keep it like this, because we don't really need any more fridges at the moment. Um, obviously, I'm going to ramp this up, chuck the Fiomia up there. Actually, I'll do that now. Beautiful, beautiful. It's looking good, guys. Happy with it. Um, next up, we're crafting more bullets, so we'll chuck some more bullets. I think there's a couple turrets up there that don't have bullets in them. And then we'll place down the remainder of the turrets we have. And uh, still not too sure what I'm doing here. But uh, we'll figure something out. So what I'm going to do here with the forge area is I'm going to chuck down some walls here. Here should be fine, right? I guess just like this. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just setting up a sort of a trap, I guess you could say, for when we're when we're doing the metal runs. So 
basically what you do is you just drive the quets over and clip the anchor on here and the anchor should just fall perfectly in this spot here and I'm hoping that this isn't really going to block any turrets no that should be fine and to finish off this forge area I think I'm just going to chuck some ramps in here just in case anything goes wrong with the anchor when we drop it um, just like that yeah that should be good change these to stairs because they look better so someone decided to kill our poor quets um, so how do you tame up another one with a lesbian yeet and uh, I'll probably bring back a dodicarus on the way back to base because we will start needing that for gunpowder and also for paste we'll cut back once this is tamed up we'll check out the stats and uh, then we can get on to some real grinding there we go quets is tamed what have we got 1k weight 1.1k stamina not bad okay first metal run with the new quets and uh, you guys might remember I built a sort of a little contraption next to the forge so we're gonna test it out see if the Anki actually gets stuck on it and drops off perfectly hopefully it does anyway let's see here we go <coughs> fuck yeah it worked beautiful that wasn't even the way I envisioned it to work but it worked anyway so sweet well it's been a couple of days and as you can see nothing's changed to the base uh, there's just a few more turrets down on the ground I'll be extremely busy with work um, as you know I just started work again uh, this week so I haven't had much time to play but today I have some hours to play and uh, the grind is real I'm not too sure what's going to be on the agenda I definitely want to farm up a shit ton of metal um, and probably just be expanding the base because it is pretty small uh, I didn't really have the resources to make it any bigger and I was just mining the metal by hand as you can see here got some metal smelting up got a decent amount I guess um, but we do need paste and more pearls so I'll be showing you guys how we're going to be getting paste on this server and uh, also need to tame up another angler because the one I tamed up is fucking dead but we expected that Anyway, onto the grinding. See you guys soon. Next up, we're going to need some paste for all the metal that we've been farming. So, for that, I'm going to need a Megatherium. Going to fly over to the mainland, try and find a decent level Megatherium. Doesn't need to be too crazy, uh, but it does need to be higher than level 15. I've, pretty, I've seen like six Megatheriums over here on this mountain, and they've all been level 15. Or they were all the same one, and they were just fucking walking around trolling me. Anyway cut back once I find one and then we'll uh, tame it up. Oh, there's one right here. Ooh, 95. Beautiful. That'll do. Yeah, that'll be fucking great. Awesome. Let's get this back to base and uh, tame it up. This little cunt trying to swim away. Get back here. He's actually trying to swim back to land. Uh, can we pick him through this? No, we can't. Fuck. Alright, we don't really have a tame pen, but we have this dino storage thing we're using so people couldn't snipe our tames. And uh, kind of put a hole in it, so hopefully this works. There we go, it's down. What do we get? 2.3k, 170 melee. Pretty garbage, uh, but <laughs> not really expecting much from it, to be honest. Awesome, Megatherium's tamed up. Let's chuck the saddle on it. What do we end up with? 3k, 243 melee. Pretty goddamn awful, but it'll do. Alright, time to head over to Kara Island. We're gonna get some chitin for our paste, and uh, it's gonna be fucking lit. <coughs> so basically, what I'm doing is just running around in the water here, killing all these trilobites. That wasn't a trilobite, that was a fish. Fucking hell, I can't hit it. Just like that, and I'm getting. Like, I'm averaging about 1500 uh, chitin per trilobite, I think. And as you can see up in the top right corner, I've got this buff called the Insect Killer, even though I'm not really killing insects. Killing these fucking trilobite things, unless they're the insects of the sea, I'm not too sure. But yeah, getting a pretty decent amount of uh, chitin, as you can see here. And uh, I thought there would be a lot more tr uh, trilobites here, but. There isn't that many to be honest, maybe like I think 10 spawn around here, maybe a bit more. Um, but it is a lot better than farming chitin anywhere else. But if you do know of a better spot for uh, trilobite spawns that I can get with a land dino, let me know. 
in the comments below and uh yeah i'll give it a try so anyway i'm gonna keep farming away hopefully the alpha rex that i saw around doesn't fuck with me okay so it's time to tame up a dodicarus i think there's some around here around the volcano from memory uh because we are going to need one we're going to need a lot of stone if we're going to be crafting pace with kylan so we've got to get this out of the way and then we'll be completely set then hopefully i think I think that's every actually no we need to tame up fuck another angler since mine died yesterday unfortunately r.i.p um yeah anyway we'll get this tamed up and then that'll probably be it for today have to head off to work but hopefully once we get back we can get stuck into the grind and uh build in our mega base what level is this one 65 oh my god i've been looking for like 40 minutes and this is the highest level one i've found jesus whatever <laughs> this will do, we'll take it back to base, I've had enough of flying around, and I'm running out of time. There we go, Dodicris is knocked out. Let's get this bad boy tamed up, and then we can start farming some stone. We're going to end the episode there guys, and if you have made it this far, I just want to let you guys know how much I've been struggling to get content over the past week. Uh, if you didn't know, I started back at work at the beginning of the week, and I've been extremely flat out with work, so like my arc time has been cut down considerably. Uh, like I said, I've only been able to get on the server like an hour a day, if that, and uh, pretty much finish work, have dinner, and I just crash, I go to sleep, and then I just rinse, repeat. So it's pretty unfortunate because I was looking so forward to um, playing a lot on this server and uh, becoming Alpha Tribe possibly, I don't know. There are a few big tribes on here that we'd be competing with but at the moment we're so behind and it's, I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed but it is what it is, I have my commitments. The time that I do get to play it though, I am having an absolute blast. So if you want to come join, I encourage you to do so. Play in my steed. <laughs> um, anyway, it is coming up to the weekend, so we're going to have plenty of hours to play then. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, stay fucking awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.